How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and there's a new iPhone virus going around. Or is there? Well, there are a ton of new virus messages popping up in Safari on iPhones all over the world all the time. And those messages kind of say the same thing. Uh, they say your iPhone is infected, there's a virus on your iPhone, there's a virus in the battery. Uh, they may say different things and they may look a little bit different, but they're all trying to scare you and let you know that your iPhone is actually infected. So in this video, I'm going to show you what those messages are. I'm going to explain what they mean and actually if you should be worried or not and what you do. Let's go ahead and begin. So let's start this video by showing you a few examples of those messages. I can show you all of them because there are a ton and they create new ones all the time. So you're browsing Safari, doing your business and out of the sudden there's a pop up and you see a message like this one. So it may say that uh, like this example, your iPhone is severely damaged by a number of viruses, in my case, 39. It then says a bunch of stuff, and then it says repair now, and you should actually uh, press that button and then uh, go somewhere, okay? Let's keep going. Uh, another one of those messages may say, virus warning, your Apple iPhone is infected, click the okay button to scan. Uh, this may be another one of those messages. Uh, it could also be um, an App Store logo saying your iPhone is severely damaged by a number of viruses and you should follow this step by step uh, to actually install an application, a free app on the App Store to just get rid of those uh, viruses. And those are just some examples. Those are just a few of those messages because of course there are hundreds of different messages. They can even say that your battery is infected, which doesn't even make any sense. So just to give you the most important answer of this video and probably the reason you're here, your iPhone is not infected. Okay, I'm going to say it again, your iPhone doesn't have any viruses, is not infected, and those are just spam messages. They're just trying to trick you. Uh, that's it. There are no iPhone viruses at all, and there probably never will be, just because of the architecture of iOS. So your iPhone is not infected. There are not viruses. So what are they trying to do with those messages? They are just not trying to scare you away. That's not the point. What they're trying to do is when you click on those buttons like the OK or scan now or um, repair, remove virus, when you tap on those buttons, they can do quite a lot of different things. And that's where it could get tricky. So uh, they could lead you to the App Store. OK, and by leading you to the App Store, uh, they're going to make you download an app, which could be, even be free. And then within that app, they're going to try to get you to buy something, OK, to get a subscription, to buy something, uh, w w just saying that you're going to be protected with that, like uh, a VPN or even an antivirus or something like that, which you don't need. OK, you don't need that's the scam. They're just trying to get you to download an app and then buy something and get money from you. That's one possibility, which is already bad, but it's not the worst. Uh, some other pop up messages like those, uh, when you click the OK button or the repair or the scan, they direct you to another website, not to the App Store, but to a website. And on that website, uh, they try to get information from you. So your name, uh, your address, all sorts of information and also your credit card. And when you give all and you give away all those information, all that information, all that data, you can already see already see what they're trying to do. OK, uh, they're trying to, of course, get info and get money and fraud and trick you. And it's very, very bad. So uh, the only thing you should do is not get worried. OK, so don't worry about that. Those are just spam messages. It's just trying to scam you. OK, and what you have to do is just close that tab like any other tab that you have. Just go ahead and close it out. Don't click on any buttons. Don't do anything. Just close that tab and you're good to go. Just ignore, completely ignore. Because again, um, your, your iPhone is not infected. There are no viruses, nothing like that. They're just trying to get money or get your info, steal your info. But they can only do that if you give to them, if you actually give the information. If you don't give the information, if you don't pay for anything, if you don't buy anything, there's nothing they can do. Only if you actually give it to them. So don't do that. Just don't give that information to them. That's all you have to do. You're good. You're cool. Your iPhone is protected and will always be. So that's pretty much it. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe button down below, and the little bell icon to help me out because I hope this video could help you out. So then, you know, 
we can just do that thing. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'll be back in a few days. Hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.